Those are gone without a trace. My time has come. All it takes is a spark to light the Hello guys, TS Pro Wrestling. And now we have massive, massive news. Massive. Right, I was in the middle of editing my MW 2K22 wishlist video that's going to come out soon, maybe tomorrow, the day after, we'll see. But, um, well, I was editing Twitter. This is huge. This is massive. WWE has just released some WWE superstars. Oh, my God. Don't tell me they're going to do what they did last year with the cutbacks. And they have officially released the following. They have released Billy Kay, Bo Dallas, Wesley Blake, Tucker, Kalisto, and Samoa Joe, and Chelsea Green. That's huge. That's massive. I was not expecting that, and I'm shocked. And when I let's start, Wesley Blake... I remember he was in, I think he was in the team with Murphy in NXT. Don't really know much of the guy, to be honest, but sucks for him. Um, Bo Dallas, that's huge because we were waiting for Bo Dallas' return. Bo Dallas, we thought he was going to appear himself with the fee and Bray Wyatt. He will thought he was in the imposter, Bray Wyatt. But those are obviously stupid rumours. But... Um, He's released. That's shocking the young man. He had a lot of potential. I really like Bo Dallas, but he's gone. Then, um, Kalisto. Man, I used to love Kalisto. I wanted to have a match in Dream Mysterio so badly. Former um, United States champion. He's released. That kind of sucks, but to be honest, he didn't do anything on the main roster. But um, what does it mean for... Um, Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metalik. What does that mean for them? Are they going to be released soon? We'll see. And um, Tucker. Tucker was with Otis. But then he turned on him. Then nothing happened. He turned on Otis for no reason. A hell in a cell 2020. My birthday, by the way. So, and then he buried him. Made him a jobber. Make him lose to Ricochet in like a few seconds. Tucker, he kind of deserves to be released because he's, he, he's, he's not going to do anything anyway. And um, Chelsea Graham, that sucks. She just got called up to the main roster. Then she got injured for when she was on SmackDown and now she's released. Oh, that sucks. That, that sucks for it. The one that shocked me the most, Samoa Joe, man. That sucks. Samoa Joe had so much potential. I love Samoa Joe, man. I actually adored him. He was so good. His promos are good. Just yesterday, just yesterday, I was thinking about maybe he'll return on SmackDown and have a few of the Roman Reigns. But no, that's not happening. Oh, that sucks, that one. He was in commentary on Rob, but he's gone. Sucks that that really sucks with Samoa Joe is awesome. I'm gonna miss him so much, but hopefully Okay, sorry about that. I was um calling like one of my mates was calling me. So I had to um answer. But where where we? Oh yeah. That does suck. Samoa Joe's gone. But um, now to move on to um the next one. Billy K. Billy K got released. That's a very unexpected one, the one I wasn't expecting the most. Um, um, I actually thought she was really funny. No, no joke. She had a lot of potential. She was always overshadowed overshad by Peyton Royce. Pe Peyton Royce meant to be like the next face of the company or something, but Vince just gave up on it. But Billy was entertaining, just very entertaining. But I guess WrestleMania was the last match. I guess that's a good way to send off your career. Um, nothing special happened, but I'm gonna. But 
you know, it's been good. But, yeah, that's the releases. It's so shocking. But anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon. And get ready for more news very soon. Rhyme of strength, ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain And you can be next, you better give respect Cause ain't nobody breaking this red neck